today I'm going to show you how to make your own frog using a toilet paper roll. My class unfortunately did not have enough time on Zoom to get to make this this week. So I figured I'd make a video on here for you guys to watch um, because it really does turn out pretty adorable. And I think it would be fun if you have some extra time. So in the description box of this video, I will include a link to the website that I got this craft from. Um, it includes a template for you to cut out the um, frog parts that you're going to need. So you can use the template or uh, you can draw and cut out the frog parts from your own construction paper if you want to do that instead. So the parts that you will need though if you decide to draw your own are back legs, front legs, two eyes, and a rectangle that we'll use to make a green body and then also a smaller rectangle that's red to be the inside which will be like the mouth. So this site also shows you the end product which should look like this and includes step-by-step -step pictures of how to make the frog. So that is what we will be following today. So you'll need one toilet paper roll or more if you want to make more than one frog. That would be really cute. You will need one green rectangle for the body, which really you can use green paper or you can use the normal printer paper when you cut out your template if you decide to use this and you can color it green or you can make your frog whatever color you want. So I am going to use green. So you'll need one rectangle for your body. The rectangle needs to be long enough to wrap around the toilet paper roll completely. But if you download the template, it should be the correct size. One smaller rectangle for the inside, which will be the mouth. And here is a good comparison of the size difference between the two rectangles that you need. Front legs, back legs, two eyes. This is how it will come. And a glue stick. So pretty easy. I hope that you all have these things at home. If you do not have a toilet paper roll, you really can use um, construction paper or uh, cardstock, which is a little thicker, um, so that when we fold the back, you'll see in a minute when we fold it, it will still stay uh, rounded. So hopefully those will be good alternative options if you don't happen to have a toilet paper roll. So our first step when you have all of your supplies, uh, you may also need scissors to cut out your template. Um, so our first step once you have everything is to apply glue all the way around your toilet paper roll. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll try to make sure you can see all of the steps that I'm doing. I'm so excited to make a little frog. They really do turn out cute. And it is perfect because frogs were one of the 10 plagues that um, God sent down when Pharaoh refused to free the Jews. So that's why we're spending a lot of time talking about frogs. Okay, so you'll have your glue all the way around. I just put glue. Then you're gonna take your green rectangle and you're gonna wrap it around the toilet paper roll. So we're gonna start with one edge and roll it around. And it's likely going to overlap. So once you get to where the green paper already is, You'll apply some glue on the other side of your, the, the excess. So I'm putting some glue on that. And then you can fold it to stick over the first layer. Okay, just so make sure you press that down so it sticks. 
And I have a little bit extra here. It might have been a little too long. So um, I think that I'm just going to tuck that in to the toilet paper roll. Might be a little easier than just cutting it. There we go. Okay. So once you have that done, what you're going to do, you're going to take the end and you're going to pinch it closed. Pinch it closed. And then once you have it pinched closed, you're gonna fold it over. Let me try to do this so you can see. There we go. Fold it. Now this is gonna be good practice to strengthen those hand and finger muscles because you have to push, push, push. And it is a little challenging because the cardboard is thick. So that is good. You can practice using those hand and finger muscles. Okay, so I believe if you want to, you can glue this little part. So we'll put some glue on that part and glue that. Push, 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 and hopefully it will stick for us. If it doesn't stick because it's too thick or too heavy to stick down, you can ask your mommy and daddy to help you and maybe they can staple it so it stays down. Okay, so now this is going to be the body of our frog. So you can see all the angles. There we go. Okay, now you're gonna take your red rectangle and you're gonna fold it so it makes a little tube. Now you don't have to glue it or anything, just fold it to make a round tube and you're going to Put it inside the green one. I did mine the wrong way because the other side is white. So I have to turn it around so the white is on the outside so that we will be able to see the red. Okay, we'll try that again. So you'll put it in there. And now you can see that the inside is red. Okay, next we are going to glue on the legs. This part is gonna be a little difficult for me to show you, so I might have to move the camera. So, the longer pair are the back legs. So those have the feet facing you, feet facing you. Your front legs, are the ones that have a little bit more of an angle to them. You're gonna have the feet facing away from you. Okay, then, let me see. I'm gonna take this down here to show you. Then you are going to set your frog down on your legs. The back of the frog the back of the frog is going to go on the back legs that are facing towards you. The front legs are going to get glued onto the bottom of the rounded part and they're facing away from you. So you can see that there. I'm gonna bring the camera back up here and we will work on gluing them. So you're gonna put some glue on the part that you folded over on the bottom of the frog and you're going to glue this to your back legs. The feet are facing you and you'll put your frog right on top like this to glue on the back legs. Now he has back legs. Okay. Then you're going to turn your frog on its back so you can see its belly and put some glue right in the middle of his belly. And then we are going to stick our front legs with the feet facing away from you right where we put that glue. So I'll show you this side where I'm sticking it down. Okay, now our frog has its legs, its front and back legs. 
Okay, the only thing we have left is its eyes. So if you have the template, you'll cut out your eye and it looks like this. You are going to cut the middle solid line at the bottom. I'm gonna cut the little, little line, be very careful. Okay. Then you are going to fold these bottom halves up along the dotted line, you'll fold up. That's gonna give us this little edge that we can glue onto our frog. So you'll put glue on this little part that you folded up. And we'll put his eyes on. So I think one eye will go here. Now you can glue it flat like that where it just stands up. Or you can glue, you can Turn in your eye a little bit. Okay, this is our second eye. We'll add some glue to the bottom of that one. And we'll stick the second eye on. Here's our little frog and he has his eyes. You can push those up a little bit more for them to stand up more. So that is how you make a frog using a toilet paper roll and some paper. I hope you all get to make your own little frogs and then you can have them jumping around your house. Okay, bye friends. Show me pictures if you make your own frog. Bye.